are making headlines almost daily is how President Donald Trump is reacting to events happening across the world. Earlier today, the president abruptly shut down two White House advisory groups after several CEOs resigned in protest to his latest response to the deadly and violent events in Charlottesville, Virginia. We'll have more on that later in the show, but tonight, North Carolina Congressman Walter B. Jones hosted a town hall in Jones County and took a moment to condemn the violence in Charlottesville and react to President Trump's statements. I think he could have called in a news conference within an hour and announced what he said two days later he should have said on the first day to single out by name the hate groups. If he had done that the first day instead of the second day, I think the whole dynamics for the president would have changed. WNCT's Brandon Truitt was at that meeting in Pollocksville this evening to hear the concerns of people in Jones's district. Now he joins us now with more Brandon. Angela, when I asked Congressman Jones what he thought about the event, he couldn't be happier. This meeting was held in a small town, the population less than 350 people, but the items being discussed were major issues facing this country, from the growing debt to the debate over health care. The Republican Party should never try to jam it through. We could have been real heroes. Walter B. Jones of North Carolina's 3rd District was one of 20 Republicans who voted no to the House's original Obamacare repeal. The new Republican president, Republican House, Republican Senate was to make an announcement and a, and a, a news conference that we are going to work and it might take us 10 months to come forward with a major rewrite of our health care laws. Jones suggesting a more strategic effort from the Republican Party would have set them up for success. In our district, uh, a senior citizen making roughly $26,000, uh, that's paying right now $1,700 in premiums. Those uh, premiums would go up to $14,000. He spoke heavily on veterans affairs and military issues like the war in Afghanistan. He says he's disappointed with Speaker Paul Ryan's efforts to have a discussion on the topic. I've written him seven, eight letters since he's been speaking, asking him to let us have a debate on the future of Afghanistan. We've been there 16 years. We spent close to a trillion dollars, over 2,300 Americans killed, over 20,000 wounded, uh, and we continue to stay there. Money spent on the war only adds to Jones's concern about the nation's deficit. When Bill Clinton left office in 2000, we had a Republican House, Republican Senate, and the debt was $5.6 trillion. Now it's almost $20 trillion in 17 years. After nearly five days of an unsettled country, Jones calling for understanding. We're in a situation we need to find the common thread. I don't know exactly what the common thread is. But we've got to figure out how we can come together. Jones showed continued frustration with Speaker Paul Ryan throughout the town hall. It's something you rarely see from a Republican congressman. Jones heads to Dare County tomorrow to continue this town hall tour. Brandon Truett, not on your side.